And okay. Sorry about that, guys. So, yeah, the game did crash. <clears throat> Again. On the uh, emulator. But, uh, yeah, we got Chifuyu. And let's do this. And we got a shit ton of these as well. Okay, so we got level 30. Nice. This is working out pretty well. Now, what you guys could do too is that you could use this, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. You determine whether you, whether it's a good time to do so or not. I'm going to keep this just a little longer until I <clears throat> until I can unlock the consortium option which is basically like the guild section because with the guild section you you can like once you get enough points you can get more exp and uh credits and stuff like and things like that Oh, they damaged them a little too quickly. Uh -oh. uh oh, we might actually win this. Oh no, never mind. Probably not. Okay, I mean, we were close. We were pretty close. We just needed to defeat that group right there, and then we would have won. Still, it's pretty impressive. Okay, so this is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh. Wait, let me see if I can beat the level 50. Did I try? I don't think I tried the level 50, right? Or I did. Actually, yeah, I did. But we wasn't strong enough. Let's try it out again. Do yeah, we're not hitting him hard enough. Yeah, we're getting there though. Tongue you sequence. All right, let's do this. Yeah, we'll just do two. You see, I can skip as many. Okay, so we got 27.
Let's get her to 40. Now, this is where... This is where things get start to get a little bit tricky. So, you still want to follow the 10 level rule, but you don't always necessarily have to immediately level all of them up there. Sometimes you can just go a little bit above and beyond for other units like this. So she's got like 50, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be a little bit selfish and I'm going to make her level 50 just so we can get a bigger edge. Now I want to see what happens. Sometimes 10 extra levels can do something. It doesn't work all the time, but... Can't hurt to try. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting closer. So we just, yeah, we probably need a few other units that can reach level 50. We're definitely almost there, so we're just we'll just we'll just go back to you know the lower level one, and then we'll just do this every day to stack up. Okay, this is level fifty for defense. This might be another. Um, Another challenging one. I think we might have to upgrade this unit. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that's a little too much. That's okay. That's okay. So we'll just we'll just do this. And the air unit, we can just go here. Okay. Okay, so what's happening here, so we definitely want to progress through the story just so we can unlock all of these. I think this goes only up to act. Oh, this one here is episode three. Well, you don't got to worry too much about this. This is more of like end game. 
the covert ops is like a it, it moves a little towards the end game <sighs> and it's, it's funny that I say that right because it's like oh it's only episode 3 and we're like on like the 11th episode so yeah but <clears throat> yeah this is what we're definitely going to be doing this we're going to be unlocking these and then we'll be able to effectively progress but yeah this is what it is so far so you now know that you can do your, your guide missions to get specific units that you want oh look it's a free orca right here too that's cool but yeah, the game because it's going to give you materials. They'll even give you some free gear eventually once you reach a certain point, especially be in episode two. As you can see here, they give you more level up items so you can level up your units effectively as you move along. You can literally you can get a few level 100 units already. And if you do that method, the 10 level method and that you can um, if you follow that method, you can't really go wrong. Just follow, yeah. So following the the ten level method, and eventually you'll come across a point where you don't, you can bend the rules a little bit more, because you know you have most of your units are high up, and then most of them are going to be maxed out in level. Oh, looks like it uh, crashed again. Uh, one second. Yeah, sorry guys. I, had, I ended up having to switch to the Steam version of it because the emulator just kept crashing like crazy, like after like an hour or so. So, but um, basically what I was saying is, you guys know what you got to um, what you got to do for the first part when you start the game. Remember that. Remember the uh, the exit out of the game technique when the game tries to force you to use that one thousand quarts. That way, once you go back to the game, once you close it. And then you re-enter back into the game. You could keep that 1,000 quartz that it gave you. Therefore, you could then use, you could then uh, increase it up to enough to get to 3,000 and to roll for another free SSR in a way, because they ba they basically gave you free quartz. And um, you could do the guide missions. Follow those to the letter, because because these can definitely help you out by a lot. The, uh, the beginner's plan and the expert plans. They'll get they'll give you so much resources and a lot of free units and a free ship, I believe. That's um that's in one of the uh, beginners or the expert plan ones. Um there's probably going to be um, I may do a part two to this because I because I definitely have to show you guys what else that what else that we need to farm to make the to make your accounts more efficient you see i have these unlocked so the next time that i do another tutorial part two is going to be with these unlocked and again i'm gonna go with you guys every step of the way i don't want to cut anything out of the footage everything you see there's just raw footage of me just going through the paces of each of these levels and trying to complete the episode five because at that point once you complete episode five at that point you you already you will already be familiar with how the game works and you should be able to just start breezing through the side missions or well the substream stories and the um the main story so yeah so if you if you guys found this video uh, very useful or anything like that, you know, feel free to leave a like. If you didn't find it useful, you can always leave a dislike. And um, again, I'm going to leave a description of the other two tutorial videos that I had, um, that I had created, which was the how to succeed on counter side. Uh, and, you know, be sure to give those a look at it. And I know it's been a real lengthy video. And, uh, but... There was just a few things I wanted to cover with you guys going step by step with the new account. So I'm eager to see where this goes. But uh, yeah, until next time, guys. And oh, don't forget, don't fear the Reaper. <laughs> Take care.